All right, today I have my new Magpacker 9mm loader. Uh, my original one was from Magpacker. It was the wood version. I got it three months ago. Um, the wood version was basically a birch 2x4 that had been milled out or, you know, okay. It should have worked. It didn't. It was for Colt mags only. Um, this loader with the right inserts will do. It, it comes, when you order it for 60 something dollars, it does MPX Max. You add $5 for the Colt insert, you drop it in there. It now does coat mags. There's another insert. I don't remember what it was for. Probably like a CZ Scorpion or something. But anyway, there you go. So uh, my original wood one was 89 plus the shipping and everything. It ended up costing me about $105. It never worked. I did the day I got it. I contacted them, told them, hey, uh, my magazines won't load. It was tearing up the tips of the bullets because the the chute was too far up. And the bullets were hitting on the edge of the magazine, which it would either hang during the load or it would shave them off as it loaded them. Either way, it wasn't a good thing. They said it was probably my mags. I could send them one of my mags in my loader and they would size it to fit. Well, these are Colt mags. They're a standard size mag. Um, there are slight variances by 1 or 1.5 millimeters. I do know that. Well, actually by about a 0.5 millimeter. But it's smaller. This is a this is actually the uh, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, metal forms are exactly the same size. This is an ASC, which if you have any of these with the orange followers, throw them away. This one's going in the garbage. They're not worth having. You can get Palmetto State Armory, which are the same as metal form, ten times better. But anyway, this mag, the ASC, is about 0.5 millimeters. Uh, thinner in both sides so it wouldn't do any of them in the wooden one contacted him again showed him what it was gave him a drawing the whole nine yards they said send it back they would uh, send me the new one this one and they would include the insert so um, I sent it back I had to pay the shipping um, I got an email they credited me back out of the hundred and five or hundred and eight dollars I paid initially. They credited me back sixty-five dollars, which paid for the loader, the insert, and the shipping back to me. So basically I lost out on forty-ish bucks. I mean, they could have done something about that, I feel. I don't know, maybe gave me an AR lower loader for free. But, you know, 40 bucks is 40 bucks. But you know what? At least they replaced it. So anyway, when you get this, it doesn't, it does, like I said, MPX mags. Now, it does not hold them. You know, you got to hold it. You got to push in while you pull, push the plunger the other way. If they would have extended this a little bit, they could have notched this out and it would have held perfectly. I'd have liked it if they would have extended this out a little further and made this bigger so you could have held the full 32 rounds in here and been able to load it instead of having to put about 20 in here and load them up and then put the rest in here because if you fill this with 32 rounds it's a pain to load the chute uh, the next issue with the size of this a 30 round load comes to just past that dot these dots are not exactly the first dot closest to the mag that was actually on eight rounds this one was on i think 19 and this one was I think this one was right at 30 but when you add the extra two rounds for 32 round mags the bullets come out past the end of the chute so then you've got your plunger out here in nowhere land and you got to be careful and hold it straight until it gets in the chute okay just as long as you know that and you're doing it you're fine it does work i've loaded a couple coat mags with this it does work you know I'll fix the issues with the stuff like when I first got it, I didn't look at this. It was already in there. So, you know, I just took it and put it to the side. I didn't flip it over. If you notice, it's straight on the bottom. What that means is I can just drop it in there, okay? Uh, on the other one, it was uh, 
flared out the bottom like that. So, I'll get to that in a minute. I loaded up all 32 rounds. I put this in here. I took this, put it here. I got to about right there and I pushed. And if you notice, this is really flat. So, you're going to get a hold of it, put a finger behind it, to one, and you're doing this. And I pushed and I raised up on it, I guess, because it flipped up. Took a chunk out of my left hand. Pissed me off. So, I picked it up. I looked at it. Realized what it was. I went to my computer. Took 10 minutes with a CAD, maybe 15. And I printed this. Um, yeah, it's nice and shiny. And it's, it's at a 0.5 millimeter layer height. So, it is low resolution, but it does work. That was my first one. I printed it, put it in there to make sure my sizes work, and it does. It's in there, and it won't come out, okay? Uh, it doesn't seat fully on the bottom. It's a little too short. So I went back, made the base a little wider, or base a little taller. I added that little nick on the front and the back because, if you notice, they have one on theirs. I really wasn't sure what that was about. But when you load a Colt mag, I haven't tried it with the MPX mag. If you don't have that little edge there, that last round will not push all the way up in the mag. It'll start, but it may pop back out once you're done. You can put it in with your finger. So I just added that to it. I made everything a little bigger. It's got a nice little round knob on top for you to get your hand on. So you take it, you put it in there. There it is. You notice how much bigger that is? I can get a hold of it put my hand on it however I want to do it so I can do that okay put this one in there I'm gonna lay my palm flat down to do that yeah so anyway I uploaded that to Thingiverse if anybody wants it it's on there uh, feel free to download it I printed this at 25% infill and it's more than strong enough that's a uh, PETG that's why it looks so vibrant I guess is the word um, I'll do it in black or tan. I think I'll do it in tan and uh, get rid of that glossy look. I don't like that. But anyway, I did fix that already. Um, I'm going to remake this insert and what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I'm thinking about, well, not the whole insert. I'm going to make this ear so... When I put this mag in here, I can put that ear in there and it'll it'll actually lock that in place. So I'm gonna make that for the MPX mags. I'll put that on Thingiverse too. But other than that, I mean for, for the money this costs now, if you order one right now, it's not bad. It'll shoot the rounds in. Like I said, it's about sixty something dollars. It is made out of some kind of composite material. And it is made in the US, that's a plus. So if you're looking for a 9mm mag loader, you know, it says AR9, it will do MPX, it will do Uzi, it will do Colt, and I believe the other insert you can look on their uh, site is a, uh, I think it's a Scorpion or a CZ mag loader, or insert, I'm sorry. So there you go. Uh, sorry for the horrible camera work. Uh, I got bad lighting in here. We've had storms and you know what have you but just wanted to get this out to you so anybody that's interested in one well that's my that's my ideals on it like i said that's much better than that you can actually see the difference you can see there you go you can see the height difference so uh available on thingiverse it's free you can download the stl print it out uh, mill it out however you want to. I think I'll just send him the STL so he can he can have that, I guess. Make that. Do whatever he wants. If he wants to give me something for it, great. If he don't, he don't have to. Because this is garbage. Alright, y'all have a good day.